As we have been creating this program, you'll have no doubt seen we're using various different data types when declaring our variables. Now it's a programmer's responsibility to make sure the data types you use are compatible with each other when you use them for calculations or moving data to and from those objects throughout your program. You do not want to be performing any calculations on variables and numbers that do not match. For example, a variable defined as an integer cannot be multiplied by a character. The two data types are incompatible and as a result the system would generate syntax errors and a runtime error if you try to execute the program. Now SAP have built in some automatic data type conversions from many of the standard data types that are available within our app. There are scenarios where the inbuilt ABAP conversion rules are not appropriate and it is important you become familiar with the inbuilt conversion rules and know when to manipulate the data prior to using them in your calculations. So let's take a look at the conversion rules that currently exist. We won't go through every one but you'll get a good flavour of what the conversion rules are and how you can use them throughout your programs. Now conversion rules are predefined logic that determine how the contents of the source field can be entered into a target field. If you add an integer field containing the value of 1 and try to insert that value into a character string, the built-in conversion rules will determine exactly how this should be done without throwing any syntax errors or runtime errors. Let's have a look at some examples. So let's suppose we add a variable called num1 of type pack decimal and we add a result Oops, help if I could code properly. <laughs> we had a result of type integer if we had a calculation where a packed decimal number was moved into an integer field the inbuilt conversion rules would round the decimal places of num1 up or down and insert the contents into the result1 field. Blimey, I can see I wasn't paying attention there. One second, there we go. So let's fill this out a little bit more. So let's say we had a value of 3.33. Okay, so what we would get here is result 1 would result in a value of 3. Probably best if we output this to our screen. Let's see what we come out with. There we go, we end up with a value of 3. And that's because the inbuilt conversion rules rounded the number down. If we add a value of 5.55, then this time result will contain the value 6 because the rounding would go up. So you can see automatic conversion rules are being applied. As you work with different data types within your program, many different conversion rules will be applied automatically and as I stated before it's up to you as the programmer to understand these conversion rules understand the data types you are using within your program to ensure no runtime errors will occur 